once again a spot on prediction last week i had mentioned that even gold tries to drop towards 2000 or below levels we can see a bounce back and i will look forward to 2070 2071.5 it has precisely achieved 2071 i hope you all profited now what to expect in the last week of the year 2023 yes it is going to be a shortened week when the christmas holiday is there and also most of the traders are busy enjoying the holidays so probably it is going to be a muted day or muted week and can we expect it to trade with the rise here which position you should take we will see with the help of charts and indicators towards the end i will give you the profit levels do watch this. firstly gold towards the end of the week on the four hour charts have shown a reversal sign and since then had yielded couple of red candles yes this could be a reversal sign after the rise here but it is still respecting this bullish channel. We can look forward for it to move towards this zone here at 2030, 2035. Now remember, for gold for the coming week, 2030 and 2018 levels are going to remain the key. If and only if you see gold is staying below these levels, you can say that the bears are back. Else, it is going to retrace a little towards 2040, 2045 and then continue the upward journey. RSI looking, st stochastic looking downwards here. The MACD, look at the MACD, it is trying to converge, it was trading with the bullish bias and if you look at the 4 hour charts on MACD, you will find, see the rise here, consolidation here and it has scope for it to rise further, just right now it is trading in June, trying to converge at it, so trading with too much of divergence, we may see a probable rise again. RSI, looking downwards here, it entered into overbought zone. Also on the 4 hour charts, the volume have diminished here, see the volumes here and since then the volumes have curtailed. This suggests that slower activity, trading activity here. Coming to the daily chart, on the daily charts, one must notice this is how it is traded. Now, the prices are diverging from the 20 period moving average. Good sign for the bulls. It has formed a base here. In the first trading session itself, I have mentioned that now the prices are taking the support from 20 period and may continue to rise. Now, see where it has closed the week here. It has ended on a doji. Now, we have to wait. See, first towards the bottom of this candle and then towards 2040-2030 zone. As long as these levels are respected, the prices are going to be treated as bullish. We can expect a bounce back again. We can expect a rise again. What has happened here? Rise, retracement, rise, slight consolidation and then the rise. At the same time, if you see prices is staying about 20 55 again we can say it may continue to rise further how far it can rise see first we have to look at 2070 then we have to look at 2084 83 levels which is going to be the next resistance if it stays above 83 84 we are going to look forward to a massive rise towards 2100 in fact double top levels towards 2150 cannot be denied the stock I stick here is overbought. MACD. Now look at MACD crossing over here, trading with divergence, two greener candles, which suggests that we can expect further more greener candles from the current levels, which suggests that there is a possibility of a triple top here. And also remember, see this crossover on gold has come at a very, very higher levels. You can note, say we have always seen gold, gold reversing from these levels in last one year. Thus, we have to be watchful even if it tries to rise. But see, by the time it approaches the highs, it would have already crossed beyond 2150-2200 levels if it continues to stay bullish from the current levels. RSI rising, volumes have diminished a bit, yes, but it is still in. Coming to the weekly charts, higher lows, higher highs here, a sharper reversal, lower lows and then it has reversed here. Now see, this candle has started flat and it has achieved higher highs. Now, see, one must note, one red candle, couple of retracement candles and if you see now the price is staying below this zone that is 2020, 2014, you can say that the bears will take over and we can see a equally strong red candle. Be watchful here. Yes, uh, we should treat this as one bullish candle, couple of retracement and now this is only applicable if it draws below 2014, 2020 zone then you can say that the prices are reversing as it has still bullish momentum left. Also notice what has happened here on the weekly charts. Moving averages again starting to look upwards, divergent from the moving average, coming back towards the moving average, divergence, then convergence and again looking upwards. Can it scale to the higher highs? We have to watch out next week.
Once the price is stays above 2085 levels, do not think of selling gold. It is buy, consistent buy, and we are looking forward to 2108, 2120, and then 2150. Yes, if it stays above 2085, it is not going to come back. Remember this fact. Now, look at the stock stick. This has dropped. The MACD is trading with divergence. It is trading bullish. It is looking upward. And I have mentioned several times. See, first wave, second wave, third wave. The bullish part has started and it is going to continue here for a while. It appears we can see it is scaling to the top of it, which suggests that in the coming weeks, bullishness may prevail for next two to three months. First of all, we will observe how it behaves at 2100 plus plus levels if it is stays over 2100 plus plus levels for the next few weeks it is going to be treated as bullish and we are not going to see the current levels again be watchful here uh next couple of weeks are going to be decisive factor for gold rsi rising volumes have diminished a bit that was expected coming to the month now before we look into the monthly charts if you also want to learn this art of trading you can join my 28th mentorship batch starting january 2024 register yourself Visit the platform forexfunda.com for more details. Equip yourself with the tools and strategies which can help you identify profitable trades and help you trade profitably with confidence. Or you can reach out to me via Telegram or email. My free Telegram channel is also there where you get the live updates. Do join the Telegram. Do join the forexfunda.com community. And yes, if you also want to be part of free webinar, today there is a free webinar coming up, but I think it is already going to be the seats are full. Thus, you have to wait for the next webinar. You can still be part of my paid webinar. Every Sunday, we discuss what to expect from the markets in the coming week. I take a holistic view of indices, commodities, currency, and volatility index as well. And I take up your live questions as well. This weekly webinar series, the Sunday webinar series, also comes with two free consultations with me. Do join this series. Register on the platform forexfunder.com. Now, look at the monthly. On the monthly charts, what we have seen is a rise and a fall together where we have seen higher lows and higher highs now one expect to observe where this candle has started it has started at 2040 from 2040 we have seen 67 dollars of move on the downside and on the upside if you notice we have seen 98 dollars of move here towards rather 108 dollars of move here towards 2048 2148 here now this is 100 and on the downside 67 thus we can expect gold to move towards or close the year at around 20 80 85 zone this much of big body size can be expected and thus in the coming week also we can expect that the bullishness moderate bullishness might be seen in gold where it can climb towards 80 85 zone in fact even if it tries to achieve further highs it can come back to this zone that is my expectation that this candle might close in green only we have seen so far higher lows higher highs and it is going to continue in this channel for a while from now a stock stick rising now look at the monthly macd this is also divergent this is bullish looking upwards rsi is looking upwards as well well volumes see when the bears are there volumes are high now when the bulls are there with the smaller volumes you can see the rise here thus we have to be watchful diminished volumes higher movement suggests that the price traders are not interested in you have to be careful here but yes it is still bullish now we have seen the charts you've seen the indicators time for me to give you the trading levels and strategies so that you can you can also be part of my signals channel on telegram reach out to me for more details now first let's talk about the levels to buy you can buy here at 2056 expect 2060 then 2071.5 then 2083 now this is going to be the next target which is going to be a stronger resistance as well and in fact it can try to rise beyond this towards 2091 2108 even if you see it rising towards this zone it can again come back and close the week close the year at around these levels mark out these levels probability of these levels is very very high if it fails to stay above this level if it fails to stay towards these levels 
we can either expect it to close the month at 2040 this is going to be the next milestone so where to sell i will recommend you to sell here 2044 but then be careful of 2040 2036 2028 2019 now as long as in and then 2040 as long as these levels are not breached as long as 2114 is not taken do not treat gold as bearish it can bounce back so yes even if it tries to drop towards these levels it can again bounce back and come back to 2040 levels this is going to be the case if it trades bearish we may see it reversing and closing the month at around these levels if it trades bullish or if it trades within the zone bounce back again on the upside major swings I do not expect major things, but yes, if you see major things, possibility of it to stay between 2040-2083 zone will be very, very high and it can try to close the month at around these levels. Below 2014 levels is where little more bearishness can be expected towards 2004-1991, chances for which appears to be less that it is going to move towards these levels. Thus, take your positions accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship badge, signals channel, join the platform forexfunda.com and join the webinar series as well which comes with free consultations do reach out to me for any of your queries on my free telegram channel you get the live updates as well thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you and merry christmas to everyone thank you